Hi, and thank you for clicking the QR code to see how these uh, these laser cut letters were designed, um, files created and downloaded to uh, to the laser cutter. So, if you see here, uh, they were created in Onshape. So this is this uh, cloud-based CAD system. Um, I know it can be created lots of other ways for people who use Illustrator and things like that, but uh, in this case they were created on, on Onshape. If you don't have an Onshape account, uh, it's very simple. Just Google Onshape, uh, click on their website, follow the instructions. It takes you about two minutes, or there is a link in Moodle which uh, which has a video to actually show you show you how to go through it okay so once you've created your account um, you can create a create a new part file system and uh, and you'll come to this to this sort of workspace here and if we come down here so this is obviously some what I created first so this is actually what I drew to create those letters so, but if we want to start here we come down to this click the plus sign and we're going to create a new part studio okay so we'll create a new part studio and this will be a, a new fresh workspace for us uh, once it loads up eventually you'll have to bear with my slow internet connection okay so so this is our 3d world here if we right click and hold we can pan around it um, but all we're going to do is we're going to pick one of these planes and we're going to start sketching on it. So we're simply going to going to type the letters onto this onto this uh, plane here. Uh, it doesn't automatically put the plane in front of you. So if you right click and view normal to sketch plane, it will turn it. So you're looking at it straight on. All right. So once we're here, then all we need to do is come up to the text box here. It's very simple, and we click that, and now we can just draw ourselves text box right and once we've done that it invites us to type in this text here okay so there's not a great selection of text but it's probably enough to be getting on with in reality okay so we're just going to come in here um, and uh, in this case we're going to type I think I've still got yeah okay that's still on. cutter so you can obviously type anything you want um, and in this case I'm going to make it bold I think we have to actually highlight it to make it bold there we go okay so if you're happy you click the green check button uh, and there we go so now we've we've got our text on here if you want to change the size of it we can simply dimension this box so you might want something really small you might want something really big uh, at the moment it's 445 millimeters so let's say we want to make it a thousand millimeters simply click that um, and it keeps it the same it doesn't drag it uh, it doesn't drag it super long okay so if we're happy with that again we click green button just to close the sketch down okay so we're going to say yep we've finished uh, we've finished drawing okay and so now we can actually see that we have these uh, these letters drawn on that plane so we're going to need to make them a solid which is uh, which is very simple so you can either click the sketch button to highlight or just go on and, and highlight uh, he says he says wait till it all highlights there we go okay so to highlight and select everything here so this is the our extrude button so we're going to extrude this shape into a solid and I'll have a quick think about it because there's quite a few uh, things here. There we go. It's, it's given us a preview here. It's done it. It defaults to 25 millimeters. We just need a solid. You can make it thicker if you want. Really doesn't matter in this case, and you'll see why in a moment. Okay. So if we're happy with these letters, again, click the green button, and now we have all our individual letters, and these are now solid things. And if we look down here. Because they're separate, they're not attached to each other, they're actually a separate part file. So we have each part. So if we were to laser, uh, sorry, 3D print these, for instance, we could select all those part files. But in this case, we want a 2D drawing. So we're going to select a face, okay? So we hover over till the face highlights. In this case, we right click on that, and we have this option to export as a DXF or DWG. Um, and we want 
a DXF file. So we want a drawing exchange format file. Okay, you get this option here. Uh, defaults to DWG to a drawing file. Click DXF. Okay, and then we simply click export. Okay, and it will export that face. Uh, I haven't worked out how to select all these faces, so you'll have to do them individually, I'm afraid. But uh, so I'm working in Firefox here, so it's a slightly different way of doing it to Chrome. You're probably working in Chrome. So we click Save File and OK. Uh, and then if we look at my downloads, we can right click. You can leave it in your downloads if you want. I would su suggest you save it to a file itself. Okay, so open containing folder. Um, and when that opens up, you'll see that it's just a DXF file. So then all you really need to do is put it on a memory stick, um, uh, bring it down to the workshop, and we can put it onto, onto the laser cutter. You just load your material up, uh, and the laser cutter will see that as a profile. Okay. And that's really all there is to it. Okay. Create a shape, right click, export as the right file. Okay. So that's it. You can cut things out to your heart's content. Thank you very much.